At least 2020 went right for Brother Martin, an undefeated regular season, an outright Catholic League title, and the top seed in the Division I playoffs. The Crusaders now look to add a second state championship to their trophy case, the first since 1971. The postseason run begins tonight at Tad Gormley against nine seed Jesuit. The Blue Jays looking good in their playoff opener against St. Paul's, trying to carry that over. But the Crusaders up 14-7. Jalen spares the two-lane commit, gets in the pay dirt from three yards out. Brother Martin up 21-7. But Jesuit would start, would start to heat up just before the end of the half. Luke LaForge hits Luke Besh with a score to make it 21-13 at half. Third quarter after stopping Brother Martin on a fourth of one, Jays would find the end zone. LaForge to Max Milano this time. It's a 20 a 19 game. Jesuit would take a lead into the fourth quarter, but Brother Martin comes back to win 36 to 34. The Crusaders will face Catholic out of Baton Rouge in the semifinals. The Raiders lost tonight in Baton Rouge 42 35. St. Aug's season also ends at Bird 31 14. The Yellow Jackets will face John Curtis. The Patriots knock off Scotlandville on the road tonight 34 14. The top seed in Division II, De La Salle, in a quarterfinal battle with Turlings Catholic at Joe Yanny. Catholic, uh, Cavs led 14-10 at the break, but it was short-lived. Turlings able to go back in front in the third quarter. Tyreek Gray for the Rebels. Great individual effort to score from 20 yards out. The Rebels go on top, 17-14. Still down three in the fourth quarter. Here comes De La Salle. Montrell Johnson gets the edge. And the Arizona commit scores a three-yard touchdown. Cavs now lead 21-17. Ensuing Rebels drive. Trying to set up the screen pass. The ball will get knocked out by Michael Thomas. Frankie Bentley recovers for the Cavs. Big turnover late in the game because it would lead to the very next play. Byron Phillips scores from six yards uh, out later in their drive. Cavs go on for the 28-17 win. De La Salle facing the winner of this game. Edie White and Hannon at Strawberry Stadium on Southeastern's campus. Third quarter, Hawks trailing 13-10, but they get a break off of Cardinals miss a mistake. The fumble recovered by number 40, Patrick Briss. Hannon would get a field goal on its suing drive to knot it at 13. Fourth quarter, Edie White kicker Landon Brignac clutched 21-yard field goal with under four to go to put the Cardinals up 16-13. Hannon with the ball now, looking to tie or take the lead. Huge defensive play by senior Zachary Template. The interception to seal it. E.D. White holds on for the 16 to 13 victory. What great playoff games we've had tonight in week two of the prep football season. We're out of time. Thanks for joining us for the entire Eyewitness Sports team. I'm Ricardo LeCompte. Have a great weekend. We'll see you back here next Friday night.